In this video, we talk about the drone carrier ship Shahid Bagheri. We will also review its history, construction, mission, and specifications. Additionally, we discuss its portable drones, weapons, and operational capacity. This vessel was converted from a commercial container ship. The conversion began in 2022 and continued until 2024. After that, sea trials and preparations for commissioning were conducted. Its name was chosen in honor of martyr Baman Bagheri. On February 7, 2025, it was officially commissioned. It joined the IRGC Navy in Bandar Abbas. Senior military officials attended the unveiling ceremony. The main mission is to serve as a mobile drone base. It is designed for reconnaissance and long-range operations. It supports the fleet, increases deterrence, and operates in open waters. It monitors shipping lanes and counters asymmetrical maritime threats. It enables precise strikes with cruise missiles and combat drones. The ship is about 240 meters long. Its width is estimated at nearly 32 meters. The draft is approximately 12 meters and overall height 21. The estimated displacement is between 35,000 and 42,000 tons. It uses heavy diesel engines inherited from the base vessel. Its approximate speed is reported at 20 to 25 knots. It has very high sailing range and long endurance at sea. The ability for long operations without frequent refueling is key. The flight deck is about 180 meters in length. At the bow or stern, a ski jump ramp is installed. This ramp assists heavy drones during takeoff operations. An angled landing section bypasses the rear superstructure. And a large elevator connects the internal hangar to the deck. The multi-level hangar can house many drones and helicopters. Reports suggest it can carry dozens of combat and recon drones. Large side doors are designed to launch fast attack boats. The lower decks also host missile-armed fast boats. Cranes lower these boats into the water from side openings. Recovery systems bring the boats back on board afterward. This strengthens combined operations with smaller vessels. The control tower and deck landing guides are installed. Secure communication systems manage drone data and control. Electronic warfare capabilities detect and jam enemy signals. This increases situational awareness in electronic combat. For close defense, 30mm cannons and Gatling guns are fitted. Short-range Kausar missile launchers defend against aerial threats. Medium-range coverage is provided by escort ships or shore units. Layered defense increases chances of intercepting incoming missiles. At the stern, anti-ship cruise missile launchers are mounted. They are likely from the Nur, Qadar, or longer-range families. These missiles target distant naval or coastal objectives. Some reports even mention possible sea-based ballistic missiles. The ship carries reconnaissance, combat, and vertical takeoff drones. At unveiling, Mahajir 6, Abba Bill 3, and jet models were displayed. Equipment for short takeoff was also introduced. A special arresting hook was installed on the Abba Bill 3. Mahajir 6 is a combat drone with 12 hours endurance. It carries guided bombs and anti-armor missiles for land targets. Its cruise speed is around 130 to 150 kilometers per hour. Network relay control extends its range up to 2,000 kilometers. Ababil 3 is a light reconnaissance drone with simple launch. The naval version is fitted with rocket boosters for takeoff. 
A landing hook allows recovery on arresting cables. It has around 8 hours endurance and strong data link range. Vertical takeoff drones like HOMA operate without runways. They provide continuous surveillance around the ship at sea. Their data link range extends to about 150 kilometers. They carry sensors for long reconnaissance missions. Small jet drones like Kayam and others were shown. Their small size allows many to be deployed in swarms. Details on their speed and armament remain undisclosed. Their main role is fast reconnaissance and precision attacks. The carrier can detect targets without nearing shore. It can then launch precise missile or drone strikes. This reduces risk for crews and accompanying ships. It also supports trade route security and anti-piracy operations. Although it has close-range defense, it needs escorts. Protective ships and aerial support are key for long missions. The lack of catapults and small deck require precision drone takeoff and landing procedures. Angled design helps reduce some landing limitations. Worldwide, interest in light drone carriers is rising. Turkey has converted its Anadoli ship for drone operations. Iran follows a similar but indigenous path with Shahid Bagheri. Differences in size, launch systems, and defenses are notable. The commissioning was attended by senior commanders and officials. After a naval parade, the flag was raised and units marched. Several drones and helicopters were displayed on the deck. Media highlighted naval power and self-sufficiency achievements. This ship is a mobile command and control center. It gathers reconnaissance data and transmits it for decisions. Networking between units enables faster and coordinated responses. It also supports search and rescue during maritime crises. Its presence in the Indian Ocean and strategic waterways strengthens monitoring. During crises, short-term deployments create significant deterrence. It can monitor tanker traffic and secure export routes. With escorts, its roles become even more effective. Despite strengths, limits exist like the narrow deck and no catapult. These require careful drone takeoff and landing procedures. Long-range air cover is usually provided by supporting units. Mission planning must fully account for these factors. In summary, Shahid Bagheri is a mobile base for drones and missiles. Its goal is stronger reconnaissance, deterrence, and regional presence. It combines drones and helicopters for military and rescue missions. Gradual improvements and cautious use will raise operational effectiveness.